Hey guys, this is Sura Soni and you are watching Chemstar. So friends, once again, welcome back on Chemstar. So friends, in today's session, I am going to discuss with you trick to find out the solubility product. All right. So in this session, we will see how to find out the solubility product. And this question is from NEET exam 2019 question paper. तो दोस्तों आज के इस सेशन में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं सॉल्युबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट के ऊपर बेस्ड एक नीट एग्जाम 2019 में पूछा गया प्रश्न तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं आज का ये सेशन सो वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स जैसा कि मैंने बताया कि आज के इस सेशन में हम डिस्कस करने वाले हैं नीट एग्जाम 2019 में पूछा गया प्रश्न जो कि सॉल्युबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट पे बेस्ड है तो यहां पे हम देखेंगे ट्रिक to find out the solubility product और हम solubility product को KSP से represent कर दे हैं alright so we generally represent the term solubility product by the letter KSP alright so in this session we will see trick to find out the solubility product and this question is asked in net neat exam 2019 question paper alright तो चलिए start करते हैं आज का ये session let's see what is the question first so the question is pH of a saturated solution of CaOH2 that means calcium hydroxide is 9. The solubility product that means KSP of calcium hydroxide is. Alright. So what we have asked in the question is a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide and we have pH. What is pH? The calcium hydroxide solution is 9. और उसका हमें क्या पूछा solubility product पूछा है अगर pH 9 हो saturated calcium hydroxide solution का तो उसका solubility product क्या होगा ये हमें बताना है और हमारे पास यहाँ पे चार option दिया हुआ है आप स्क्रीन पे देख पा रहे तो चलिए देखते हैं कि इस question को हम कैसे solve कर सकते हैं alright तो सबसे पहले हम क्या कर लेंगे हम सबसे पहले chemical reaction को समझने की कोशिश करेंगे तो calcium calcium hydroxide है calcium hydroxide क्या है reversible reaction होता है उसे क्या बनता है calcium ions calcium cations बनते हैं और hydroxide anions बनते हैं alright बाद में ये देखिए यहाँ पे reversible reaction है this is a reversible reaction so uh, what will happen calcium hydroxide will get dissociate into calcium cations and hydroxide anions and uh, likewise vice versa what will happen calcium cations and hydroxide anions will get combined together and they will get form the calcium hydroxide all right so here we can see one moles of calcium cations are here so that means we represent here stoichiometry is one of calcium cation and uh, stoichiometry is two for hydroxide anions all right so along with that we also know उसके साथ ही हम ये भी जानते हैं कि pH plus pOH is equal to क्या होता है 14 होता है। We know that pH plus pOH is equals to 14. All right? That means uh, pH represents the uh, concentration of acids and pOH represents the concentration of base. All right? So if if we add the concentrations of acids and base together, what we will get? We will get 14. Alright, so this is a general thing which we should know. Alright, next is what will happen? We have the pH. Alright, so we will do what we will do? We will find out the pOH. So we have pH equals to 9. What we will do? We will substitute the value of pH and we will get the pOH. So pOH is equal to 14 minus 9 which is equals to 5. So we have got pOH is 5 and pH is we have 9 already. Alright, so also uh, we know that 2 here 2 s 2 stoichiometry is of hydroxide ion all right which is equals to nothing but 10 s to minus 5 which is constant right so once we will rearrange this and we once we will solve this we will get the value of one stoichiometric which is 10 s to minus 5 by 2 correct so we have got the value of one one mole uh, one stoichiometric correct but solubility product ksp is nothing but 4s to the power 3 so solubility product ksp is 4s to the power 3 so what we will do we have got the value of s we will simply substitute the value of s and we will get the solubility product here we have solubility product to find out the solubility product we have the formula 4s3 all right so we will 
substitute the value of s here so we have the value of s as 10 raised to minus 5 by 2 so we will substitute this here and we will do the cube of this so once we will solve this what will happen see here 2 uh, this will uh, this 2 will becomes 8 when we uh, do the uh, 3 times multiplication of 2 so I have written here outside the bracket and this will become 10 raised to the power minus 5 to the power 3 alright so once we will solve this it will become half into 10 raised to the power minus 5 to the power 3 and once and this half is nothing but 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. This is the formula of a raised to b raised to c. That means a raised to b into c. So we will get 10 raised, to, 10 raised to the power minus 15. So we have got the answer. That means we have got the solubility product as 0 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 15. So here in the option we have 4 options and correct option is I think option 3 which is 0 0.5 into 10 raised to the power minus 15 which we have got the here which we have got the answer here alright. So so the option 3 is the correct answer of this question. So by following this step, you can simply find out the two marks in your NEET exam. So thank you very much friends for watching this video till end. If you like this video, please do like the video and please subscribe the Campstar for more useful videos. So thank you very much. Keep watching. Keep learning.